was born in this hospital in 1965, January 28th, 1965. I'm back from the state after 26 years, and then uh, I just want uh, this area to be one of the best uh, in my country, you know, seriously. Not for only in my country, but for all people that can come, you know. Medical care doesn't have any limits, and then the most that we can provide, the better for us. MedShare takes medical surplus of product and equipment, and we prevented it from ending up in landfill as waste. We're able to take that same supply and equipment and repurpose it to the underserved healthcare population at large. If you go out there in different parts of the world, you see how people are in need. Gloves are being used after they have been used by a doctor, hung out on the line to dry and reused with no sterility. Imagine where they are living in places where there is not even a clinic. Everybody in our culture recognizes that a hospital or a clinic has up-to-date equipment. We expect it because that's our culture. But when there's nothing, and you don't have a constant supply of quality, clean, functional equipment, you have nothing to, uh, to work from. The doctors don't have equipment to diagnose the patient. Some of them only diagnose by feeling. Childbirth is a natural event, but it doesn't always go right. The hospital did not have an ultrasound machine. They used a local uh, tube to put on the stomach of a pregnant woman and to hear, you know, with the, with, with the ear, it is so frustrating. Uh, very few doctors can practice obstetrics these days without having an ultrasound picture to know what they're dealing with. Hospitals in the U.S., because of the regulatory environment, once a surgical pack has been opened, even though the items haven't been used, they have to dispose of those. They can't use them on another patient in the hospital. So perfectly good supplies and consumables, gauze and gloves and syringes get thrown away every day, even though it's unused, unopened, and unexpired. Medshare's mission is twofold. First phase is, is environmental impact. It's estimated that roughly two million tons of medical surplus end up as waste in landfills in the U.S. And certainly we're doing our part to take a large portion of that and divert it from the landfills. We're able to take that same medical surplus and redistribute, repurpose that material to those that really, really need those products. We have an inventory database in which we catalog all the codes that we have, and we ask the recipients to go in and take a look at what we have and allow them to choose box by box what they need and what will be useful in the country where they are. We will not ship to a recipient any products that they do not need. We support our recipients on how to repair and install the equipment. We call the recipient, we talk with the recipient, advise the recipient, work with them through the phone, and in most cases we've been so successful. If you're able to send just one container, it can have an impact. At MedShare, we have an urgency to do even more for those doctors and nurses in the countries that we serve. The need is far greater than we're able to supply. So we continue to need all sorts of medical supplies. All types of equipment that you may think is waste here in the U.S. is really needed around the world.